Hi, thanks for tuning in to City Girl Hip Hop. As you can see by the title, Boozy reacts to Gunna's plea deal. He stuck Thugga out to free him. I mean, in simpler terms, Boozy is claiming that Gunna has made it harder for Young Thug to plead innocent in the YSL Rico case. Now just to let you know, an Alfred plea, it allows a defendant to maintain their innocence, but it acknowledges that they are pleading guilty in their best interest. And this is according to the U.S. Department of Justice. So, an Alfred plea and a no contest plea are the functional equivalent of a guilty plea. So the same as saying you guilty, but using different words, alpha and no contest. And then basically what it means is it's saying, hey, I'm pleading guilty with an Alfred, right? But in truth, I'm claiming to be innocent. I didn't do it. I'm going to just say I'm guilty with an Alfred without saying, using the word, I'm guilty. Simpler terms. Big and grand still means large, right? Little and small still means tiny, right? They all pretty much mean the same thing, but you're using different words to say it. That is what an alpha and a no contest and a guilty is. So Gunna admitted that the YSL is a gang and that it expressed or he expressed personal knowledge, right? Meaning he personally knows of criminal activity. Now that is the issue that they're having with his plea. And the next thing is he admitted that YSL is a music label and a gang. Now, why is that important? Because now you're calling it a gang and you're saying it's a music label. So anybody who partakes in that music label is officially defined as participating in a gang, right? Even though they might just want to get signed and they could possibly be associated with any criminal activity under the gang because he confirmed the gang and the music label are one of the same. So anybody who want to get signed to YSL, you might, might, might be associated with gang activity should any crimes happen under the music label because he confirmed they are both a gang and a music label. And he has personal knowledge that crimes were committed. So there you have it. And uh, interestingly enough, while in court on Zoom, somehow, some way, a new dude showed up on the Zoom camera. Watch my video on that. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, holla. Hit that subscribe button. One.